Hello and welcome to Magician's Advice Recommends with me, Ian Brennan. Today on Magician's Advice Recommends, I've got a book for you, a book that I absolutely love, and it's this one. It's called How to Cheat at Everything by Simon Lowell. Now, I know a lot of magicians out there, myself included, sometimes try and play the part of a cheat or a hustler. But how much research do we really do into cheats and hustlers? Or do we just stand there and say, actually, yeah, I'm a cheat, I'm a card shark, I can do all of this, or card sharp even, I can do all of these skills. Have we ever actually looked at hustlers and cheats? I think something we need to do is do a bit of research into what their lives are like, how we can be a bit more in tune with their thought patterns, and then this is the book you need to go to for that. It's absolutely awesome. Like the title says, how to cheat at everything. So in here we have barbets, we've got street hustles, we've got carnival scans, we've got things like internet fraud, um, CD physics, um, and we've got some psychic stuff in there, we've got card games, we've got dice games, there's sneaky ways that cheat bets and ways to beat the system, all sorts of stuff. If you ever had a carnival and you felt like people were conning you out of your money, chances are they probably were. This explains exactly how they're doing it and what they're up to. All the details are in there and it shows you how they're conning you out of it. From not advertising prices, to regular systems, to having an unfair odds system, it's all in there. There's lots and lots of hustles in there and bets that you can play with your friends and your family, just win a little bit of money off them as well while having a bit of fun. Some of the bets and the propositions are quite advanced and they're built on a much larger scale. So it's not just the bets that you would win, but the bets that have got a stronger odds for the, the, the scammer. So in some cases, in some cases we'll have a little bet, we'll put some money down and I'm gonna win every time. Sometimes the odds are a bit more, they're a bit fairer, but there's more chance I'm gonna win. So if we play against each other, there's you might win, I might win, but over a hundred games, I'm gonna win a lot of money. So they're not sort of bets you can do straight away, but if you want to do a protracted time of trying to win money off people, then you can put those bets into action. There's methods of how to mark your own cards. There's lots of card slights of hand towards the back of the book. There's these cool little comic strips that go in there as well, which kind of keep you keep tagging along. There's dice games, there's coin games. There's all sorts of different things in there that will help you be more aware of the scams and hustles that are out there. So of course we don't want you to do these yourself, but they're um, making you much more aware of stuff. Carnival games like spot drops, the uh, hook a duck sort of things are in here. There's the thing that Darren Brown did, I think one of his specials is explained in here as well. I don't know if that's where he got it from or not. There's the three shell Monty. There's loads and loads and loads of stuff. Lucky pennies, um, special dice, this is, Pretty much the the bible for card hustlers and cheats well worth checking out there's not loads of magic routines that you'll get out of it but what you will get is you'll get a feel for the cheat for the hustler and a bit of an inside look on their life i don't know whether the hustler in here is a real person i've got a feeling it's a made-up person by simon um the hustler is called freddie the fox i think it feels like they're made up but they help keep a nice narrative going through the story each time Simon meets Freddy, Freddy tells Simon a story and a hustle. Sometimes they play bets and of course Simon always loses to Freddy. Um, sometimes they play scams on other people and of course they win a lot of money off them. A con man revealing the secrets of the esoteric trade of cheating, scams and hustles. I shouldn't have read that at the start, shouldn't I? Check it out. How to cheat and everything. It's a bit tricky to get hold of one of these, so I would, I would recommend checking out your second-hand books places. So search on your internet, second-hand books, How to Cheat Evan by Simon Law. That's all for me for today. Thank you ever so much for tuning in to Magician's Advice Recommends. If you want to find out more about the Magician's Advice family and the podcast that we do, check out the links below. Everything's down there for you. We've got over 110 episodes of the podcast now. I think we've been going for nearly four years, so it's quite a long time. And if you want to find any Magician's Advice merchandise, you're all, that's all in the description below. We also have some affiliate programs, so when you are going to buy your next magic trick, if you follow one of those links, then you're helping us out at the same time. Thanks very much for your time, 
I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.